Hi there, I hope everyone a good day. Welcome back to another comparison video. Today we'll be comparing the 808 and 808 III from Wavewave, Wave, including the regular version and the Ultra for both generations. V2 of the 808 II and all that. I believe there will be a V2 for the 808 III as well. Also, I'll make one final pick on the best shoe here uh, from my experience. Even if they're really close, we're all good shoes. Let's get right into it. So in terms of the retail price for both the 808 II and 808 III, regular version goes for $120 on waveway.com. Ultra costs $40 more at $160. Links will be in the description if you're interested. Uh, right around that mid-tier pricing. And it's very interesting because this line really wasn't going anywhere with the first model. Then they really turned it around last year with the 808 II. I remember first knowing about the release and the silhouette just looks so fresh to me. One of the biggest reasons for its success and popularity, I think is how much it resembles a pair of Kobe's while also giving you the distinct features from a Li Ning or Wave Wei Shu with their own missile and also tech. If it is a blatant copycat product, some of you know that for me as a very particular diehard Kobe fan, I'd rather pass or even buy a pair of fakes. Anyways, looks are never as important as the encore performance. Uh, we're gonna quickly go over each performance aspect now. Starting off with the cushioning, the drop-in missile setup basically remains the same. On the Ultra, you have a boom missile, their premium technology. On the regular version, you have Cloud Foam Plus. So just talking about cushion, for both versions, the Ultra is gonna be softer, uh, more responsive when you press down underneath. And uh, it is a notable difference on feet. Regular version, the 808-3 drop-in missile became thicker. And more importantly, they added boom to the forefoot. So Ultra cushion is the same. Regular version, the 808-3 had an upgrade. With the traction performance, the easiest way to put it is that all of these outsoles work really well extremely loud and squeaky, except for the 808 II Ultra in this oxygen colorway. On um, this one, it's not only a translucent also, but a weird type of rubber compound used here. So on a dusty court, I was actually sliding and couldn't get to a consistent stop. But all the other ones are great. 808 III Ultra in the same colorway, they used solid rubber instead, so it was awesome. If I have to pick one, the 808 III regular version in this family love colorway, that is a heck of a grip. Just absolutely insane on clean or dusty quartz. I haven't tried their new translucent also, unlike the purple colorway, but if any of you guys have, please share with us your experience in the comment section. Now with the fit, I went half size up with all of these. For wave wave shoes, I feel like that's normally the safest option instead of going true to size. The 808 II and 808 III regular version are the two shoes here that I think you can also go true to size. Regular 808 II had a little bit of heel slippage. 808 II V2, I suggest you go half size up because the strap does make it tighter and more secure. If you're a size 11 or 12 and they don't make your half size up, my recommendation is to go up a full size with the Ultra, but stay true to size with the regular version. I hope that makes sense. If you have wide feet, the 808 II regular and 808 III regular are the best options. In terms of comfort and materials, my pick for the best one here is this. Uh, if I was to be more picky, like on the 808 III Ultra, for example, some parts of the upper will like fold awkwardly. Not to a point where it bothered me, but you won't have this type of issue on the regular version. Breathability, they're really about the same. And uh, for the weight, this line was super consistent because uh, all versions are within like 10 grams from each other for the same size. My size 11 pair would be typically 430 to 440 grams, right around average weight. Overall, between the 808 II and 808 III, which one is better? Uh, my answer to that would be the 808 III, and this applies to both the regular and the Ultra version. So both versions I would consider to be an upgrade from the previous model. The Ultra's traction became much, much better on the oxygen colorway. They added more nimbleness after getting rid of the saw color, and the regular version had a more secure fit while having amazing comfort. So perhaps the toughest question to be answered here is if I was to only choose one shoe from all these different versions, which one would it be? Um, to be absolutely clear and honest, my pick here would be the 808 III regular version. It's okay for wide feet, also is insanely grippy. You can use it outdoors and it's also the shoe that reminds me the most of a Kobe with the low to the ground core feel. Also at 40 bucks cheaper, 
I think it's good enough. But if you want better cushion specifically, that'll be the Ultra. Hopefully this comparison helps a bit. Let me know what other comparisons you'd like to see down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.